There are over 50 million Americans over the age of 65, according to the CDC, and many of those people do not get the minimum amount of exercise per week, which is about 150 minutes for aerobic exercise and roughly two days per week of strength training. Now, this lack of physical activity can lead to not only a profound drain on the healthcare system, but more importantly, it can raise the risk of early death. Sarcopenia is the loss of muscle mass and muscle strength and muscle power, as well as muscle function, that occurs as we get older. As you can imagine, this loss of muscle mass can lead to a myriad of health problems, including increasing the risk of falls. And this, I think, is one reason why over 50% of people in nursing homes today are over the age of 85. In other words, as we get older, we get weaker, and we're less able to take care of ourselves. But it doesn't have to be this way. Exercise can obviously help build muscle, but what about dietary supplements? So in previous reviews, I've looked at the proof for krill oil supplements building muscle, as well as omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil. And in this review, I want to continue that discussion with another fish oil muscle building study randomized controlled trial of fish oil supplementation on responsiveness to resistance exercise training in older women with sarcopenia. So what does this investigation look like? Well, basically we've got 34 women over the age of 65 who were formally diagnosed with sarcopenia and they did not regularly exercise. These ladies were then put on an exercise program, all of them worked out, and they were either given four grams a day of fish oil 4,000 milligrams of fish oil, which is a combination of EPA and DHA, or four grams of a placebo, which consisted of sunflower oil. And the study lasted just over four months. Now, as for the exercise program, the ladies worked out three days a week and performed three sets of 12 repetitions of these exercises you see here. We've got a leg extension, a 45 degree leg press, which is sometimes called the leg sled, leg press sled, a horizontal leg press, so there was two leg presses in this study, the leg extension machine and the inner and outer thigh machines. So what happened after four months of exercise and supplementation with fish oil? Well, the first thing to report is that there were no side effects, and that's really good because they did use quite a bit of fish oil in this study. Something else that was revealed was that both the fish oil group and the placebo group showed significant increases in body mass index, presumably due to an increase in muscle mass gains, and their bones got a little stronger too. The fish oil takers also gained about a pound of body weight, which incidentally was not seen in those who took the placebo. People taking fish oil supplements alongside exercise also showed improvements in hand grip strength. They could walk a little further in six minutes during the six minute walking test, and their muscles appeared to be able to exert more force as well. Now, as for inflammation, Omega-3 fatty acids did not appear to reduce inflammatory cytokines, which is a little weird considering that reducing inflammation is one of the big claims to fame for fish oil supplements. In both the fish oil takers and the placebo group, thigh muscle size, or the cross-sectional area of their quadriceps, also increased. Now, while it was stated that there was no significant difference in the sizes of the quadriceps between the placebo takers and the fish oil group, it looks like it was about a 6% increase in thigh muscle size in the fish oil takers, while it was only about a 3% increase in the placebo takers. Now, that's double the muscle growth for fish oil takers. And while it might not be a significant difference, it looks to me like it might be a real world significant difference. As for why fish oil increased muscle strength, well, it's not really well understood, but the researchers pointed to the possibility that maybe omega-3 fatty acids from fish were activating mTOR. mTOR is the mammalian target of rapamycin, and that's a fancy phrase for essentially a gene that is involved in muscle growth. So this study adds to the evidence that fish oil supplements may have anabolic effects on older folks, although keep in mind the researchers did tend to use more omega-3 fatty acids than is in your typical fish oil supplement. 
So do your due diligence if you take any medications. See my previous videos for more insights on the evidence for fish oil and muscle growth. What do you think? Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.